What is happening? All right. Now, of course, everybody, everybody in FV land, they know about our sponsor, Golf uh-huh. Gary Dowdy. All right. And as you look behind us, there goes the symbol there we right go. there. Um, yeah. I told him he's gonna have to get uh, some Negroes in that uh, that symbol right there. That's that is. That's, he, that's he, more. He, he, oh, he that's only for us light skinned folk. Oh. Tiger Woods, <laughs> Tiger Tiger Woods. <laughs> that's only for the light skinned folk. We, don't we need some, tiger, you know, right? some darker hues. So he's working on that. No, um, but no, if no. you want premium golf apparel, and if you just don't play golf and you just want to look sharp, hey, look, support the brother. All right. Of you course. can reach him at www.golfgurrydowdy.com. All right. And that is uh, the phone number to, for him is 240-847-4007. We thank him very much. He is our first thank official you. sponsor you did. of Live from the Corner. And we're so appreciative. God damn it. You know, I want to I wanna do a backflip every time I think about that. So success is Progress. always the best. Progress. Taking them steps, man. Keep stepping. Yeah. So yeah. now, on with the shits. We are without, of course, as you can see, we are without our man. My other friend. Our mellow, our man. Here. Breezy. Breezy. One third of the click. But we do have Tay here. Yes. What's happening, Tay? Hey. What's the word, man? I appreciate you what having me like? on, man. You Thanks know a lot for showing up. Clap it up for myself, too. You yeah. feel me? <laughs> you no, got of course, to. man. You got to yourself on. Hey, nah, y'all, y'all really be. You know what I'm saying? Y'all be doing y'all thing on here. I had to come through because y'all have some wild stories. And I need, I'm going to steal some of y'all stories today to put on my show. That's just to okay. let you know. You, know what you can recycle, bro. Hey, look, yeah, news is right. news, homie. You, you dig nah, what I'm saying? Real. I be told. Well, how was your weekend? Uh, It was, I finally chilled in this weekend. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't being a young hood rat with my friends. Hood Hold up. Men can be hood rats? Hood rat. Hood rat. Hood rat. Men can be hood rats? <laughs> That's what the little, the little kid said. It. He liked to do hood rat stuff with his friends. You know what I'm saying? I ain't know that. The little fat kid who stole their grandma's car. I did not know oh, that. He did yeah, say that. He yeah, showed no, up there. Oh, that's that's man, man, to be running around here sometimes it outside the studio. Real. That's, a, that's what you remind me of. But yeah, I was just chilling, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I cleaned up, washed clothes. You feel me? Not too major. Okay. Well, let everybody know, man, when your show comes on, man. Okay, you can check me out uh, every Thursday from nine to ten. WLVS Radio, Weedhead TV, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh man. Content created for Weedheads by Weedheads. And uh, if you just want to check us out on live or something, you can check out Blunt's Bill Buns. I'm rocking the gear, by the way. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. How was your weekend? Uh, my weekend was work, 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 work. Oh, I he, had uh, he was Rihanna. Rihanna for real. Yeah, man. Work, 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 work. Now, hold the fuck up. No, I'm what? not Rihanna, motherfucker. Work, work, work. work, work, work Y'all that joint twerking and shit. <laughs> Y'all know when you say, you say Rihanna, the people at home are gonna think that I'm out there twerking. I said work. Man. I hey. didn't say twerk. No, hey, man. y'all always make things weird. This is a that's why, that's why it's hard to watch song. football with women. Oh no, it's I don't hard have a problem. Y'all looking at butt cheeks. They looking at no, butts. Yeah, no. they looking at butts. And calf I muscles. I watch sports oh, I because I like sports. I have I haven't watched football in years though because I got sick of the bullshit. So I don't watch. Football. Oh, so you a real one? You 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 yeah. ain't looking just for nah. uh, uh prints and all that good stuff. <laughs> yeah, I can do that walking down the street if that's the case. I like. Hey, I, Grace I'm Swift. a sports girl. I love sports. You ain't cock watching. Grace nah, Swift. Nah, nah. Mm-hmm. All right, then, yeah. But anyway, yeah, my weekend was just full of work, man. I played pool Sunday, whooped some asses. Usually. You know how I do. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm going to have to come check you, you out on that one, man. Chandy. Hey, man, anytime you ready, Holmes. Oh, hey, look, hey, look, hey, look, I was born it, on the it, table, It wasn't bro. a challenge. It was a... <laughs> Let's just get together. Oh, no, nah, I want the money. Man. I want the money, Holmes. I got to make up for that little twerk uh, thing y'all just Look, man, we look. Oh, no, we show did my not say twerk. See, we I'm, said work. I'm from the oh. South, so I'm from the South, so I got I to gotta bait you in. I got to play like, man, no, it's just friendly. And after a couple games, we like, hey, man, what's up? Put the money down. Oh, I'm Let's gonna go. dog you. I'm a dog you. <laughs> yeah, you sound I'm too confident. Full. I'm scared oh, now. Man, the sticks is in the back of the car right now anytime you're ready. Oh, yeah, you too serious. And Louisa, mm. a.k.a. Red. What you what you do this weekend? I went to Detroit this weekend mm, the D. for uh international um business convention. Shout out to ACN, shout out to Coalition and C D four L. Let me show y'all my shirts. I'm excited. Oh shit. She gang affiliated, everybody. Well you see you see blood she was in, blood she out. was talking though, like Blood Stop in, blood playing. out. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah, I like that. CD4L, <laughs> like Coalition Dynasty for Life. This is our business. Uh, ACN is a telecommunication, energy, um, telecommunications, energy, merchant, and um, and other consumer services. We provide those services at a better price. We get direct prices from the company. Mm. So, it's so and in we other make words, money off of that. basically, we make money you're the plug. bill. Thank you. Okay, I, I, I dig it. I dig it. I got you. I'm the plug. Why do women when do that? Is legally. That a, is that a claw? Legally. That look like that, that's legally. so weird. Why do, y'all, why do y'all do that at people's Thank faces? 
I don't even know what a camera is. I was is. catching. I was catching. The goodness. <laughs> he was catching the goodness. I was catching what? Right, what? Right there, right there. Yeah, yeah. I was catching what he was saying. But anyway, yeah, basically, I'm the plug. Yeah. I got you. And you can be the plug, too, if you want to. But anyway, CD4L. Damn. CD4L. Anyway, some bass in I had shit. a great time. Yeah. I was actually, I was so close that I looked out the window, I went outside, and I was looking at Canada. How cool is that? Wow. It was really good. Hey. It was so beautiful. If I had my passport, I would have Would have went walked, to Because I, I was going to say, over there. if you saw it, why got didn't you? Free health care. There you go. Okay, we on the same page. You would have never came back. Because she said, I what? saw it. I'm like, you saw it? Then we'd have to I was standing there like, oh, it's so beautiful. I'm about to walk over yeah. there. Yeah. You just go under the tunnel. Might be spoiled. We you never come close, back. That close. That close. And then well, the Mounties. Really cool. What is it? The Mounties? They yeah. got Mounties. Yeah. The Mounties would have arrested you. I know. I and then they would have threw you to the Timberwolves up there running the Bears, the Grizzly Bears. <laughs> Look, you keep forgetting that place is I a goddamn. Tame animals. Me and you animals tame, have a oh, connection. Oh, you can tame animals. Oh, you Dr. Doolittle. Okay. I'm Dr. Louise. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, okay. okay. we're going to get to the shits, everybody. <laughs> because since we're on that subject about taming animals and uh, people who act as such, there's a guy, there is a bodybuilder. <laughs> Who was in Russia? Of course, of Russia. Course. He's Let's Russian. Start it out. He's you Russian. know, meanwhile in Russia, hashtag. You <laughs> dig what I'm saying? Slavic. Um, the bodybuilder thought that his abs were knife proof. <laughs> That's not quite him, but I would only but you imagine get the picture. you get the picture. Yeah. Now they don't say the Russian weightlifter's name, right? But he was critically stabbed by a person with a kitchen knife. This idiot. Told the guy, he was like, Look, I did used to do karate back when I was younger. I have abs, and still, you know, uh, impenetrable abs. Get, he went and got the knife and gave it to and the gave guy. gave it to the dude. Yeah, he gave it to the dude and told him to stab him. And the guy was hesitant and he didn't do that first. No, sir, I sure. don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. That is the worst Russian accent I've ever heard. Then how do you do it? I don't know. Oh, I I sound do like it. I'm not even going to try it. I sound like a punch drunk. Uh, 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 not honest, Bostonian. But, uh, He's Russian. Yeah. <laughs> Russian. <laughs> but I'm saying Russian. this though, because it was a movie. I think it was a movie where they stabbed. Oh, that was Luke Cage, right? They yeah. tried to stab him. In the... He thought yeah. it was Luke Cage, man. You gotta yeah. have melanin for that power, man. No, I'm Bruh, whole time, whole time. <laughs> <laughs> whole time. So this is what it was. Now I always post uh, videos on my page about uh, martial arts going wrong and stuff like that. <laughs> and <laughs> what happened was was that he was trying to. Knock the rust off his old martial arts mm. capabilities. I don't care what capabilities you got. <laughs> I'm not letting nobody stab me. He was drunk too. They were drunk. They you were know at a people, party. And when in Russia, do drink do vodka. Drink vodka. Drink vodka. <laughs> vodka. Everybody. Listen, man. You yeah, know how they have that. people wear bulletproof vests and get people to shoot them and stuff? Uh, I man, can't even do that. That's, that's the idiotic. That's the steroids talking. Listen, that's the <laughs> stab me, bro. Stab me. <laughs> Russians always sound like a, 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 a old vinyl Drink. record in reverse. Three get shot, you big boy. Yeah, bro. That old, <laughs> Look, you got me to do it. You got me to do yeah, it. Oh, you tried it. Three get shot. You gotta do that Drago joint. I would break you. I would break. You. <laughs> that they, Rocky. That Rocky. Bro, they only sound dangerous. Literally, when they talk English, when they speak their language, it's yeah. like. Oh. I can't take this motherfucker seriously. Yeah, that's why, because their voice, they have to do it slow because they're trying to get the words. Right. So it's more threatening. Everything oh, you are doing, I am watching. Well, listen, the guy that stabbed him didn't want to do it at first, mm -hmm. right? He was the actual homeowner, okay? And he didn't want to do it. And somehow, the, the bodybuilder convinced was like, him to do it. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Just yeah, do it. just do it. He antagonized him. And... He could, get, he could get up to eight years for doing for, it, and I don't and you made me do it. They should not. He shouldn't be charged. The guy told him to do it. Well, I can only imagine the reaction on his face when that joint when it penetrated him and went straight through. It's like, like losing butter. your virginity, women. I guess <gasps> that's how. That's, is that how y'all feel when you lose your virginity? You know that <laughs> gas. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, know sorry, was was a, I know there was a pause, and then everybody was just like, "Oh, this is some, this is bullshit." This is bullshit. Listen, no more crocodile man. for us. Literally. Flocka. I'm talking about none of that. What's <laughs> good? What's good? That's a meth. That's a meth. That's that's some that's some crazy shit, yeah. Bruh. All right, so let me ask you this. What's the craziest things you've been hit with or anything to try to prove how strong, how strong you are? Or body part. Well, like, you know, we, know we, you we the Serbian surgeons in the background. Hey, we talking hey, about your neighbors. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Uh, we well, you know we from the hood, so mm -hmm. 
I, I'm gonna say a punch, man. You know what I'm saying? A uh, punch? You ain't punch never, to the gut. You ain't never been punched in the gut. Hell yeah, I've been punched in the kidneys. The you face. Know, you got to tighten it up. The face, the mouth. I mean, that's a fight. I'm talking about. <laughs> I bet. I bet you punch me and it won't hurt. Like you know what I'm saying? Mm. But like bringing in the WWE stuff, we don't do the baseball bats. We don't do no, chairs. Hell no. Hell we don't no. do that stuff. Nope. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you so, know, I nope. have, I have had the wind knocked out me one time. And you, you ever had, okay, when we were young, we used to, um, like, get under the mattress, mm-hmm. and then the other person would jump, or, like, we'd pull the mattress off, and you'd jump. Oh, no, nah, I ain't never done that shit before. Yeah, well, we did that. She you said, you pull, pull the mattress, mattress off. Oh, you hit a backflip? I don't well, know we what over, white ghetto jump. you grew up in. I didn't like, grow in a white ghetto. Because black people just yes, jump they, on the goddamn right, mattress, not did. on a Literally. person well, in you between know, you the mattress. No, you make a fort. We were making, like, a little kingdom or whatever we were doing in the room and so we pulled the mattress from up off the bed and so somebody was like oh let's see maybe we can jump let's jump over each other whatever blah, blah, blah. so it was my turn so I would always start my crazy ass who i can't remember if my sister or my brother jumped and they landed on their butt on my back and knocked the wind out of me but you can't even cry that's what I was you like, got oh. a you got a that's foot <laughs> you got a foot and a mattress to the uh to the ass okay i had an ass and a mattress, because they jumped and said, boom, like they was on damn Mario. So you popped out that motherfucker like a uh, uh, hungry, hungry no, hippo when, and shit. No, when I caught when you my get, breath. When you get hit and when, you can't. <gasps> when I finally caught my breath, I whooped his ass. I Oh, I got up and fucked him up, you I was like, Five what? Minutes oh, but right. see, that's just like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because that's just like him getting charged for the dude voluntarily no, wanting to be stabbed. No, I don't care. You voluntarily got up under got up and that made yourself we a all cockroach. Did. No, you no, know no, what a cockroach no. is. <laughs> That's what we were just jumping do. on the bed, and nah, so really. and we were taking time. I, I nobody else jumped on nobody else, but he had to jump on my ass. You so wanted I to know. Him up. Tell the real story. The game was called "What Does a Cockroach Feel Like?" <laughs> no. Like this. I, 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 I want to be a bed bug, well, everybody. I was the cockroach because nobody like, else got squished. God damn! Yo, you knocked the. I'm telling you, when I say knock the, I bet you never played that game again. I got up. Purple. Man, the worst oh, thing I ever did uh, was I got hit in the face with a golf club. What Go white? Gary Dowdy, everybody. Yes, see, that's, um, that's how that happened. I got hit in the head with a goddamn golf club. So man. how many beers in were you? We weren't even in beers. I was too young to have beer, but I mean, it was just young young people not paying attention, trying to emulate their father playing golf. Oh, and I got hit with a goddamn shit. nine iron, bro, oh, and it cracked and it, the baby. shit out of me. My head ain't gone down yet, everybody. <laughs> it's still swollen. That explains. That God explains a damn. lot. damn. That was birth. Hey, you shut your ass up. <laughs> I'm just saying. So a little poof ball and shit. <laughs> Went to Detroit and and, 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 and and I don't know what the hell you was doing up there other than <laughs> at the goddamn thing. That's right. You went to go see Motown and all that shit. Yeah, we went what? to took pictures at Motown. It was really nice. So how the Motor rats up City. there? Do they say hi when you visit? Oh, uh, I didn't see any, thankfully. But mm. uh, cause we were just back and forth. Back as soon as we got up there, we went, got ready, and went straight to training, and and then we we got all. I mean, it was we had a good time, but it was a lot of back and forth. So we didn't really get a lot of uh, personal time this time. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, time. Yeah, I tell no you what, time. everybody out there, if you want to learn how to be a, any type of insect or anything underneath a mattress, a cabinet, or something <laughs> like that, holler at Reds over here. Okay, she plays games like that. Right? <laughs> no, for real. In right. my younger days, <laughs> just jump, just jump. It doesn't matter. That, so, I'm telling you, dog. Like, uh, <laughs> I killed. I tried to and so him. speaking, speaking of drugs, right? Because dude obviously had to be off drugs. I hope he, I hope he makes a speedy recovery. But Russians, y'all nah. got to be better, man. Y'all got to be better. And as my man, as, as my man says, those are real white people. Yeah. These are not mm. the Caucasians we have here. Those are those real are white people. Here. Okay. You know, President Putin is vodka. the biggest representative. In, in Russia, we drink vodka. Exactly. Vodka. Exactly. <laughs> and so now, in and Illinois, is, swallow pills. there's a Walter White lookalike mm. wanted on meth related <laughs> charges. And I mean, hey, look. Hold wait, 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 wait. Why is Shrink he that down because of this. I, Keep that picture right there because, in all honesty, bro. Why? That looks exactly. It does. Put us in the corner, it does. Uh, PJ. Exactly like him. Why is he squinting if he has on glasses already? <laughs> it's because... called methamphetamine. <laughs> he probably well, was coming down off that shit. Ain't nobody on this, I got to just show y'all yeah, this. Yeah, please. Show he that. probably was coming down. Man, so in Galesburg, yeah, Illinois. Yeah, yeah, exactly. In Galesburg, <laughs> Illinois, um, the guy, uh, he, he uh, Todd uh, Barrick <laughs> Jr., who is 50 years old of Galesburg, who obviously looks just 50, like Walter White, 50, right? Though, that's At 50, 50 right? Spitting image. At 50. Um, he evidently, uh, on September 3rd, for violating his probation due to 
meth related charge. I mean, do you think he he might have like even though he already looked like him, maybe just cut his hair off and took that just, image? Maybe? Just, just took I it off. I think that like, I would buy meth from him because he looks just looks like. like I'd be like, this man. shit gotta be good. Like, is this that blue stuff? Yeah, which, that, uh, <laughs> that show was off the chain. I love that show. I used to watch that show all the time. Oh, that's my I favorite mean, show. I still yeah. go back and, and, and rerun that show. I rerun that show. Uh, Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad. Time. He yeah. has the meth beard, but. <laughs> I'm now just stuck someone, on a squint. It's like he was squinting maybe because not, he didn't need the glasses. Look not at his prescription. Eyes. Bro, he looks just like him, I know. Bro. Maybe he, look at his eyes. Look like he's trying to open one of them. What's that? Right. His right eye. Um, it's trying- bright lights. I just came off of meth. Uh, meth yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm coming confused. down from meth. He was smoking meth he's, in the closet he for a week. He was wired. He was wired, <laughs> man. That's what happens. You did? But plot twist. Plot twist. That is who Breaking Bad is made out of, and they just got his story out. Mm. No, not I'm him. Playing, I'm playing, no, I'm playing, not I'm him. Playing. The guy you're talking about. See, you up here welling and shit. I know. You been plot twist. I'm just gonna try to put out facts and shit. You up here ruining our show. We gonna get oh, canceled. Man, get the, the fuck off. Look. Get the fuck off, man. I ain't never invite you back over here, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> But look, so the whole time, right? The dude that you're talking about, he's from Georgia. No, I thought he was from Kentucky or something. Oh no, he's from somewhere around Georgia or Mississippi, somewhere Alabama or Georgia. Because Vice had uh, the real Walter outside. White. Oh, yeah, I remember Walter I saw White. that. Yeah, and he looks nothing like him. That's like what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, you dig what I'm saying? But so that's, that's what I'm really saying. Maybe okay. he just liked the show and shaved his head. Somebody said that. Hey, you, yeah, you, you ever seen Breaking like, Bad? Well, yeah, you look just like him. You, you sell know, meth you like. and you look like the meth man. Yeah. You did. You don't shave your head. Do your like that and get away from and do your damn thing, bro. No, for real. But evidently, evidently, he got out. I don't mm-hmm. know how they got the goddamn picture of him and shit, but you know what I'm saying? And let him go because I guess that's but, what privilege do for you because if I got no, enough literally. on me, I ain't seen a judge till goddamn next month. Monday, you right? But, yeah. but, but didn't you say he was on probation for meth? Right. He was on so probation for the violation of with meth. I don't know, man. So I, just, shit, I don't know. He shared his uh, supply. Privilege. I don't know. It doesn't even explain how it happened. Exactly. It doesn't even, yeah, and of no, course, literally. exactly, and of course, they definitely, um, they're not talking about how he was released. No, they're not going to tell on the violation. You can't tell that because he shouldn't have been. You remember yeah. that old Dave Chappelle thing? Uh, we're just going. Would you mind turning yourself in? <laughs> oh, I can't do Friday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, call they, they called the okay, man. So when can you? Man, come we in? got you again, man. We know you got man. enough. Just hey, come on, bro. just turn yourself in. We need. It's, it's the it's the craziest stories, bro. Now anybody else, we still be underneath the jail. You literally, know what I'm saying? we be in that jail literally with six nine and shit eating dry sandwiches. Yeah, we be in that motherfucker. If you yeah. get a sandwich, right? <laughs> I'm not even get anything. So, of course, we here. If you don't know, we have a long, ongoing history of having the craziest porn stories here. Long right? and hard. And how? What? <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Is that cold? For come that, fuck me. I was, was that cold for somebody in somebody on FB or anywhere? Come fuck me. It was. A, she just, she just liked this part you of the show. Fuck me? It was a porn long and hard reference. Oh my god! You guys are so slow right now. Long so and hard. Slow. It was a throw. Yeah, that's I did what I was supposed to do. Catch you off guard. Let's go. All right. So anyway, right. So of course everybody knows about the Miami Heat uh, arena, right? Mm-hmm. Well, the Bang Brothers. Who is Everybody that? knows about the Bang Brothers. Who is that? You don't know about the Bang Brothers? Do they make clothes? Oh, you don't like grudge. You don't like grudge. Sex, <laughs> you like grudge fucking. This is the Bang most Bang private video, video game. Video game. <laughs> no, not the Mario Brothers. Not the Ting Tong. It's the most violent sex, right? But uh, on, on uh, Bang Brothers, right? But they are actually offering ten million dollars mm. to change the name to oh, their gosh, exact name. Bang, bang why, why, why Brothers. Can't they, why wouldn't they pick a different name? Why Bang Brothers? Because it would give I mean, them publicity. Yeah. See, it's just I like, literally. Every time you go there. Oh, yeah, that's, like true. That. that's true. That's so true. they sponsor that. They, you know, they, the, the people, the owner is able to fix the building up. Right. You know, maybe add some new things. You yeah, know what I'm saying? You know Get you a free porn subscription if you work there. Because you know this saying? is an arena, so it's supposed to be family friendly. You know they're not about to put no damn Bang Brothers Why is porn not family friendly? All the kids are watching it any damn way. Family friendly. If you work exactly. there, you get a free six month Bang Bros subscription. From what I heard. Oh, from what you? No, heard. I'm sorry. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. That I'm might look, that might be the initiative to push the push the push nah, the yeah. um, contract up. This definitely was wild. Though. I was like Bang Bros. I, I thought about the same thing, but at the end of the day, you know, money make the world go round. But you gotta so. think about true. Miami though. Miami is known for a couple of things: spring break, cocaine, spring break, 
women. Cocaine. And weather. Oh, I'm sorry. I said cocaine again. You hear me? But Oh, and cocaine. It's just <laughs> cocaine, women, and weather, bro. But that would make all the sense in the world to me. Nowadays, man, I wouldn't... I wouldn't doubt it, bro. I feel like they might get it. And just smack a big ass dildo on the top. I don't know right about doubt. They're not gonna do that. They're not gonna do that. Dildo Arena by Bang Brothers. They might, hey. put, they might put a little insignia <laughs> under the name. Yeah. Make it seem like today. It, but they'll put it in a cute little way. Everybody. If you don't know. You look at it real good and it's a set hey. up. I can hear the radio say, "Everybody, today, if yeah. you go down to Bang Brothers Arena, we will have I know, right? the Cunt Classic." Those those sponsor shout outs during the games are going to be crazy. <laughs> the Cunt Classic. And today at the Bang Bro Center, we're going to have uh, dildo shaped funnel cakes. <laughs> Stop by with your kids. Come get your one. Make sure you're wet when you show up. Powdered <laughs> powder cream. <laughs> Our seats come with complimentary. Our seats will hey, fuck you to death. No, literally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, yes. And balls jiggling. Uh, balls yes. donut jiggling. Oh my and god. And for men, we have the pocket pussy <laughs> next to your seat. No oh, that's a, that's a that's a uh, party okay. gift. Monday, Monday, Monday. Monday. Men don't need all that. Oh, I'm getting a pocket pussy. Hey, babe, you know you ain't got to suck my dick no more. All right, back. You said you said season tickets cost how much? <laughs> Are we gone? Oh, what? Are we gone? Bro, bro, you want five, bro? Oh, we gone. Hey. We gone. Oh, bro! <laughs> listen, that has to be the biggest pitch ever, and I and I bet you, I bet you that they're gonna follow through on it. Yes, ten million. I bet you if they're smart, because Miami listen. does struggle a little bit when it comes to you know uh, their teams or whatever. LeBron and them are gone. Yeah, I think that that's a lucrative and can very I just smart say decision. something though? I'm sorry, you know, I'm still in school. I study PR. We talk about this all the time. Uh huh. I feel like even with them just putting a bid out there, yeah, and even getting us to talk about them like that. That'll be the the publicity they can get mm-hmm. off of that. Like even beyond getting a stadium, even if they don't get a stadium, yeah, I bet they sell the, spike known. and stuff. Yeah. The views Bang spike, brothers, everything spike. Bang brothers, Pornhub. Once the word uh, is out, X and XX. We have talked about stories about y'all forever. Will you please sponsor us? I, hey, look, we will gladly, we will put I will gladly display tape. your your stuff, <laughs> and you know what I'm saying. And we'll play your videos. Who doesn't want to watch somebody get gang raped? Whoa, whoa, the R word, man. If it's porn, it's. Bro, that's simulation. Oh, yeah. It's simulation. It's, it, yeah. it's not real gang rape. It's I know. Like they but are getting gang raped. It's willingly, so you can't even. <laughs> oh, my God. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Too much for TV. Too much for TV. <laughs> Too much for TV? Okay, all right. I apologize for the R word, but if you look it up, it's an actual. Fetish, okay? So, I'm sorry. Uh, really? okay? It is. It's a and lot of course, out there. And of course, we will not be with shit. I play a slave and, and spit in your mouth and everything <laughs> on that jump. They are. You know what I'm saying? Like for $10 million. Oh, it is some weird stuff right? on that. Is that okay? Yeah. Is that okay? Who they can? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. $10 million. Right. She'll put my dick in you for $10 million. She will push my shit Girl, right where, through you. Where we sign it? Hold up. Here we go. Right here. <laughs> Look, put your leg up. Put your leg up. Uh-uh. Let me rub it back. Hey, baby. Hold on. You need to come. You ain't. He, calm down, calm he like relax. when you do it like this. This relax. how he like Give it. Give him a shot right now. Relax. Look, show okay. up with a purse full of Viagra. Oh, you gonna work today, nigga? <laughs> we need this money. You gonna work today? You uh, and a Red Bull, please. You, you feel me? Red Bull and Viagra. That is Two. a wild night. Two. So on that note, everybody, we're gonna take a quick break. It's live from the corner. We'll be right back. Mm.
right. Everybody out there. All right. We are back. It is live from the corner. And of course, you got me, AI, and you have Reds. And then you have my man, Tay, sitting in. Yes, sir. Who wants to be a goddamn lawyer? I know, right? You know the law. I like the. I, I know the law, and I like to argue. You know what I'm saying? Want it are you gonna to argue be- with facts? Or are you gonna argue with opinion? What well, you listen. Gonna do? This is a long. This is a long. Your. Um, I'm trying to get this together because evidently the internet here is not working, and so I am yeah. lost right now, everybody. So bear with me. I should have looked at this when we had technical difficulties. We good. We good. And what is the one that we have to log on to? That is the FBG. But in lieu. Oh God! Now I need a password. Okay. Well. Let's see if we can open this up. So, Technical difficulties, everybody. I, need, I probably need to go to another break. But, <laughs> all right. So, if everybody has been paying attention to the news, this is trending lately. There it was a young lady in Alaska who was on a swim team. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, now, she's underage, so we're not going to go too it's crazy okay, with it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But, there was a decision to disqualify her because her bathing suit rolled up into the crack of her behind. As if she had control over that. And we actually have a film on this one, correct? So now we're going to go ahead and roll to that film, and I'm going to try to get these technical difficulties under control. Mm-hmm. Right? Figure it out. Listen to you this. You're going to figure it out. It's a huge victory. This is so much better than we thought. This is so much better. Just days after 17-year-old state champion swimmer Brecken Willis was disqualified from a heat for the way her swimsuit fit, a new win. The ripple effects reaching far beyond her home pool at Diamond High School. It's not so much that the rules in place as it is uh, how is it being uh, interpreted, how is it being uh, fairly uh, enforced. The Alaska School Activities Association reversing the disqualification on Tuesday. This within an hour of receiving a formal request from the Anchorage School District to do so. ASD writing that Willis was, quote, targeted based solely on how a standard school-issued uniform happened to fit the shape of her body. Supporters, including local swim coach Lauren Langford, who published an account of the incident online over the weekend, commending the move. This is as good or better than I could have hoped for. The athlete's mother declining to go on camera on Tuesday, but saying it's a good start. As the ASAA maintains it will not let something similar happen to anybody else. Our directive to the officials will be that you should assume that a a uniform is legal. If the point of all of this was to get back to swimming, now we can do that. And that's big. (laughs) So, we are back, everybody. And, of course, technical difficulties do happen sometimes. Um, But, as you saw from the film right there, that they decided to disqualify her, a judge did, because she is endowed. Yeah. She's a well-endowed uh, teenager uh, of mixed race. You know what I'm saying? I didn't want to go there. But... And uh, Exactly. Of mixed race. And so, they overturned it eventually. Uh, of course, okay. they better okay. They overturned it so eventually. because going to be some problems. Correct. Because, of course, me? media is out there. Mm. Media is out there. She's 17. Um, and it was in Anchorage, Alaska. So, I'm guessing that she's probably, uh, you know, military background. You know what I'm saying? Military yeah. grad or whatever. Of you know course. what I'm saying? Of that area. But, still, but though. that is the most ignorant shit I've ever heard in my life. Literally. What it's do you like, think about this? I mean, because as a woman, y'all always get... We are always looked at for our clothes. And, like, you know, it's, that's a hard time. That age, anywhere between maybe 10 and 8, it's, that's a rough time. Yeah. Especially with your clothes, your body changing, you're developing, you don't know what to do. And for her to be active in sports, that should not have even been an issue. Right. You're swimming. Literally. If she hasn't... What can you... How can you... How can you judge her or make her feel bad about the fact of how she's shaped. It's a swimsuit. But that's, it's liable to happen. But it happens in everyday business. Like, I see, when I'm when I'm driving down the street, I always see uh, Caucasian ladies, they get to wear the shorter skirts. They do. You know what I'm saying? They Shorty cleavage right and stuff, here. tattoos this, in the mid-back, This much mid-rip, space all that between stuff. their ass cheeks and the skirt. Yeah. You see? Yeah. I mean, it just kind of remind me of, um, I don't know if y'all remember the video where the dude, they made the dude cut his locks off. Yeah. During yeah. The rest yeah. Of the, yeah. 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 You yeah. see what I'm saying? Like, yeah. It's like little, just little petty stuff just to nitpick to try to keep us down. But I don't know. As long as they overturn it, I hope she don't stop. You know what that I'm saying? Could, yeah, I hope that doesn't discourage her because a lot yeah. that's a lot of mental. You feel that's me? That's mental. Like, and that can discourage her. You know, Because of my bathing suit? It's okay, sweetheart. You, <laughs> you feel me? It, that's, it's a swimsuit. You, exactly. It's a swimsuit. Now, you're swimming you, and you're kicking and you're moving. Now, mind you, mind you that that is a school issue standard. Uniform, literally, make and some, so, make something for people. So with how can certain you shapes. tell her she's disqualified? Exactly. What is she disqualified for? for it. 
Exactly. Well, because if there's a rule. Like she hopped right. in the pool. Like, because a there's a butt. rule. There's a rule, and I forgot the actual nomenclature, but uh, it. Uh, I'm trying to look for that. Was it indecent exposure? No, well, it's, it's, it's sort of, of like that, but they can't really say that. That's what and I'm saying. And it was saying. some, it was some verbiage they that they was using that was kind of weird. Words are important, people. And Literally. the rules are that the buttocks and the breasts have to be covered. And so, but but I mean, but you know, everybody has seen diving. Scuba gear, if you're in be, scuba gear, how the hell some, can you cover some cheeks gonna your be breasts hanging out. and your ass? Well, I mean, if you look at diving, Olympic divers, they always have to go out the pool and yeah, but, you know, adjust their self. Yeah, their but stuff. it's still it's a normal. little bit of cheek. cheek hanging out. The whole thing mm-hmm. is never covered, and it's a possible. They're usually more flat chested mm-hmm. anyway because they're athletic. But you still, there's a possibility of something popping out. I mean, yeah, on. right. Blame the children, right? Blame the like, children I mean, for the freakazoids that's that's working around. If you dig what I'm saying, like essentially, somebody got turned on. Yeah, and uh, they uh, like, oh shit! No. I can hit, I can hit a referee She's now. Like, oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! That black boot. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Bill, Bill. You see hey, what you doing, man? I have one inches of erection. <laughs> <laughs> she I am pitching. Here. I am pitching a, 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 a napkin tent? right now. I'm pitching a napkin <laughs> right <laughs> now, <laughs> sir. <laughs> a oh, wet wipe. She has to get the hell out of here. He's pitching a wet wipe. I need to call my wife Martha. <laughs> You'll never believe the black ass Charlotte. that I saw today. Martha, the Charlotte. one that got her uh, disqualified. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh, she turned my husband. She did what? Oh, yeah. Well, it, now that was the, one of the controversies is that people, the parents that were there did take pictures of it and pass it around, which is considered to be child pornography. pornography. There like we go. There. Are we going to jail? So, Anybody? Um, yeah. Jail? Exactly. Jail? Exactly. And it got through the grapevine and of course, boom. But who took the picture? I'm listening. But... And, and of, well, it doesn't necessarily say that the referee has something against her, but I'm pretty sure that's exactly what it was. I'm pretty sure. Oh, you got to get it out. Abdi, Abdi, Abdi. She over there don't talk. That's like all, folks. <laughs> I can't just have <laughs> dead her. shit. Give her a mic. <laughs> That's all, folks. God damn it. I'm I over will, here trying to catch you. I'm I like, will close my eyes and ignore the, the ass whooping that's coming over here. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to close my eyes. I shall not so, be a witness. This is studio audience, everybody. So the ref did have a problem with her, and this wasn't the first time that he's picked on her. Mm. So it basically, was, he likes her. This is some and seventh he grade took the shit. picture. Yeah, he probably, he probably did, and it spread around the grapevine, and like all the... Caucasity. She won, but she had her booty yeah, out. Yeah, her booty cheeks. Her what? Out, which is crazy. I got pictures. Want to wanna see? Right. Her booty was out. But shouts out to her because she, it did get overturned. So now she is a champion. You dig what I'm saying? But we got to do better out there in Alaska. And um, this is that was so not cool. Well, kind of. You are perverse. Yeah. Well, speaking of ice cold, uh, Diddy. Oh yeah. Dating his, his son's, son's ex. Yeah. 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 What type of shit? Hey, look, ain't no that? fun if the if, if your son can't you have can't, none. You feel me? Pass you him dig around. what I'm saying? Pass him but y'all think that shit fly. And the thing about that, this time him did him and his son and Lori were at a strip club together. What type of? Sh- well, I mean, I mean, listen, well, you know. listen. Yeah. Let me tell you something about man code, okay? <laughs> man code is, hey pops, you trying to get it? <laughs> Go ahead, I'm done with it. I mean, are you serious? I don't like the feel or the fit of that. Go ahead, you old nigga, you might want that. Yes, that might be how it went, yeah. but I highly doubt it. Yeah, I'm pretty yeah. sure Diddy Bogart that yeah. Either I'm that sure. or, you know. I'm pretty sure. I'm oh, yeah. sure. You, you, see, when you when you he got stuff like, like that with your something. pops, you just got to wait till they get old, and then you hire a nurse that beat them. Yeah. Oh, is that what yeah. you <laughs> But see, he rich. His money going to keep notes. him safe. You Take hear me? Take notes. Take notes. And he's probably going to be a vampire, bro. He's probably going to live forever. He's going to live everybody in this room. He's going to be like, for real. Right yeah, Literally. by the time technology catches up to his money and shit, you feel he'll me? be able to buy a whole new, a whole new body, body. and everything, yeah. a whole new soul, around. cause he gonna need it. <laughs> God damn it! I can't, man. Hey, look, that will break like, my heart. But I have heard she, stories she of this. Like, I have heard stories of fathers your fucking. Pops they, they, pull up with your girl. <laughs> pops, what is you doing? But I'm pretty sure he didn't like her. Young. He a young dude. Like he a pretty boy. He probably like, eh. Lori Harvey. I know how I feel. Lori Harvey. It's Lori right. Harvey. I got Lori Harvey on my wish list. <laughs> what well, my man do? Hey, yeah, my man. Hey, yeah, shout out to uh, Godfrey, man. That man can do a hell of a uh, 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 impersonation of uh, uh, Steve Harvey, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? Hey, bro, bro do got that impression. Hell, you say? Crazy. <laughs> nah, for real. Nah, you know who, who do got another one, too? Kenan Thompson. Oh, when he be on Saturday Night Live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hell like, yeah. He do world. that shit raw as hell. I like Kenan. But yeah, so I mean, I don't know Young, but. I wouldn't bring none of my girls around, did he? Nah, yeah, after that. Y'all, what? 
And hell, if all right, so look, you were tripping what? off the fact that they was in the strip club. No, I'm not worried about the strip club. The, the fact saying. that y'all's code is that's okay. So what if you your mama, okay? if your mama pulled up with your, you a burnout. You a burnout. You if we that. pass you around like that, you a burnout. We I mean, yeah, you young like that, we don't care. But she been seen with multiple people anyway, so it really won't matter. Yeah, this is just her turn with them. Yeah, and so she supposedly is pregnant now. She supposedly well, they, that was, they, they they no, they said that's, that's that the they rumor. saw his hand on her belly, and yeah, they think, the but they, she's not pregnant. Right. We don't know that. Well, we don't. Beyonce know. was never pregnant, but she had a baby. If my pops I get my it. ex pregnant, I'm I'm moving out of the family. She had a baby. Slim, she had them twins. I'm moving but out of the family. You ain't moving out of millions of dollars. You said I'm moving out of me. I'm taking hey, look, a piece of this. And knowing P. Diddy freaky ass, they probably all boning her. I know, right? They probably all getting it in at once. You yeah. come, come to my room tonight. Take yeah. that. Take that. But you know, yeah. and then they were hanging. I forgot what. Living sex toy. <laughs> take that. They they were. I forgot where they were. Oh, when they were on vacation, when they saw him with her hand, his hand on her belly. They Steve, her mom, all of them were out on vacation. Correct. So, Correct. but I don't know. We don't know. But that, can you that's imagine? That's odd for me. Now, that's did cool. you did you all see the picture of Steve Harvey and and all of them at the dinner table together uh-uh. with Diddy and everything? Uh-uh. And he looked. He just looked like. What the hell is going on, fucker? You motherfucker! I bet y'all ain't. But got she that grown. Thing. She grown. She's 22. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She don't have no grown. She grown. She don't. No, that's his. But either way, that's Still his though. wife's daughter. So that's his me? daughter. That's not his biological. No. But don't oh, so him. basically Steve is minding his business and let her get to come up for the family and start a new Kardashian movie. No, nah, for real. Okay. All right. The black Kardashians. All right. Bet. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Grammy as hell. Oh. Grammy as hell. Teddy now, Blair. speaking of which, since mm-hmm. we've been on porn and everything like that, I'm going to need you to look that up for me, Um, the subject. It is also a young lady, and I forgot exactly where she was from. Oh, yeah. She's yeah. doing meals for Before heels. Six-inch heels. Four heels. Four, six, and I need you to pull heels. that story up for me. Not meals on wheels. We, we have, have the a YouTube video. video. Let's go to the YouTube video. Portland that. Chef is making national headlines, catering to the late night sex worker community, and it is called Heels for Wheels. Nikisha Newton says she started the business to feed her girlfriend who works as a stripper. So now the niche business is really starting to take off. And I get him something. You pull that story because I need you to go in it. Everything closes pretty early. Like I make everything fresh to order. I personally deliver it myself. I put a little piece of me in every meal I make. Um, I wouldn't serve anything that I wouldn't eat myself. You can find a link to Meals for Heels online at Coindoc. Now, Bang Brothers, stay. I mean, Arena, strippers, late work, meals your chef for heels. How? Amazing is that to just have that epiphany in the middle of the night and be like, you know what? You know what? They tired of sucking and cock all night. Like I think they need home. a sandwich. They do need a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna make that sandwich. Yay. Okay. Uh, the, the, For the heels. The, 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 but that is genius. That is genius, I mean, bro. And now I'm thinking about doing it. For sex okay, workers? Okay, this says according yeah. to uh I'm thinking about it. The New York Post it says Newton got the idea on, from a girl from a girlfriend she was seeing nearly a year ago. Mm-hmm. Um, for her business, Mills for Hills in December, at the hand of how her then girlfriend, a stripper, would complain of having nowhere healthy to eat after her shift was over. Oh, yeah. Newton then began delivering meals to her friend at the strip club, and soon other dancers started showing interest. So basically, her stripper girlfriend got tired of seeing dinglings all day and said, "I want some clams." <laughs> no, it is no food open after the yeah, strip club. Yeah, so she started bringing her Unless girlfriend food. Unless you go up the street, you know what I'm saying, they got the little Hispanic lady out there she be having a little now, chicken. No, no, no. See, you from the ATL, so y'all food I heard is oh, really no, no. good. Oh, really, we got really what? delicious in the strip club. Listen, man. You don't the want the these shit from around food, here, bro. The wings, we go to the strip club just for the wings sometimes. We don't need look at the booty. We just But anyway, I heard that. See, we got we got Waffle House down there. Okay. So after every move Waffle House is the move. The club, church, uh, strip club, birthday, anniversary, uh, uh, toasted shrimp, roasted shrimp. No, I'm just playing. But I ain't gonna hold. So she was a she was a former chef. So she the food is I'm sure impeccable. And so she she started that for a girlfriend, and it turned into a business. And you know what? That is the biggest come up ever, y'all. Because they got the bread. That is the biggest come up ever. You might get paid in all sweaty ones. And them bums is always hungry. It might be always hungry. That's a lot of work. That's a lot of cardio. That's a lot of work. I'm going to be honest with you. They need to make that an Olympic sport. They should. For real, for real. They should. 
Because I don't know how the hell they do all that holding themselves with a thigh and all this crazy stuff. The, the picky toe be wrapped around the pole. <laughs> they be doing some Flintstone <laughs> shit, bro. Stripping in the Olympics. Slim, they do, and they're thinking about it. That they're is, thinking about it. I, I might need to see the trials for that one. They're <laughs> thinking about, bro, bro. Okay. So the strip club, I don't know if y'all, I'm pretty sure y'all got one like a pole that reaches like 20 feet in the air. Look, that's that's Magic City. You hear that's me? the main strip club that bro. everybody go to, but that's where they do all the tricks at. Who in the hell wouldn't watch that? And for this one, you can actually have a wedgie. You she can actually have the right. cheeks out. I know, right? <laughs> I saw I saw a girl stand on top of a girl. Like one girl played the played the surfboard, and one was on top of her, like with her thighs I'm holding like, their weight up. Oh, it's yeah, that is very practice. Olympic. Cause I seen that. That is a, a feat of, of strength. You a real winner, girl. That's a feat of strength. I saw one yeah, twerk man. upside down was on the roof doing a split. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the that's the basic trick. I want to see some. Make a bicycle. You know what I'm saying? Do something with nah. make a boat. You feel me? Make a boat. <laughs> sail. Go sail. I'll be like, oh, they got a boat up there. <laughs> they made a boat, bro. No, I'm just lying. Do, you don't want to see them land on something? And then not kill them? Cause you said land on something, and my mind went. I yeah, was like, they better go there, cause that's what I'm talking mind. about. They can land on me. Okay. Well, like yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but after a certain age, they do get born after a while. Nah, look, yeah. shouts out to it. Do you actually have the young lady's name again? Um, it's something Newton. Let me see. Something Newton. Chef Newton. Well, shout out to Chef, Chef Newton. Newton. Young. You are a Constance. genius. Meals for heels. Constance. Constance. No, 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 I'm sorry. That was con- that was the okay. actress in uh, the movie that's out. Meals for heels. Like, let me do the jingle for you. I'm, I'm really Go trying to. Hey, Slim. Constance Woods I can't do it right. I got to have the club environment Nikesha. so I can get inspiration. Nakisha Newton. Nakisha Newton. Shouts out because I do have Newtons Nikesha. in my family. Yeah. You hold up. Related hold to me, champ. Go ahead. Holla at your She's 38. Don't be trying to get no discounts, man. Holla at your cuck We you did find me? out about it. You want some cousin discounts. You got the Newtons, baby. You heard me. His cousin hungry. You pull up like Tupac. Cousin. Cousin Pete. Cutting Pete. Mm-hmm. It's all mm-hmm. good. I'm you Sugar, know. little nephew. Little Sugar. <laughs> Everybody got somebody named Sugar in their family. Exactly. Sugar. Now, on the dope sugar. end of the uh, spectrum. Uh, I had Honey we... Cake and Poo Cat. What? I'm Poo, I'm Poo Cat, nephew. And these were two dudes. Honey Cake is a guy and Poo Cat is a guy. What'd you say? <laughs> you not calling me. What subject did y'all just get on? Hold up. I'm lost now. Because you, Cause you huh? said everybody got a uh, cousin named Sugar. I said, no, I had Honey Cake and I had Poo Cat. It's, a, it's, it's two dudes named Honey Cake? They're brothers. You at the, one you at the family cake reunion. And one Poo Cat. This hey, is Honey South Cat. Honey cake and a big broad a nigga that know, that know how to, how to look like he just got out of slavery walks over like yeah what's good what's good yeah I'm honey cake he better be he better be strong as hell <laughs> he gotta be he gotta be he you gotta you. fight every day there's for that no way in hell somebody gonna call me honey, honey cake. cake honey and you cake know, honey, honey, honey cake. cake and you know when your mama call you honey cake in front of your partners and stuff. It's going to school, so now everybody at school calling oh, him honey cake. Oh, fucking day. Oh, he was oh, grown. Yeah. He was grown. Yeah, we whooping but, ass. Yeah. I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that <laughs> shit. <laughs> Come here, Pooh Cat. Come on, honey cake. <laughs> Y'all don't hey, make this, me laugh in my cup. This just goes to show you never stop thinking and dreaming, you know, because, I mean, anything can happen. Yeah, that was an ingenious idea, that and was, I hope her girlfriend awesome. had a lot to do with that idea. Well, yeah, you know, it was like, ex, her ex You know what I'm saying? She could just go feed her. Yeah. And everybody, yeah. Just go feed her. And, and now I'm thinking about around the workspace. And now I'm thinking about doing that. I'm thinking about serving them some fucking cucumbers and shit. Yeah. I'm Can gonna I give them you? salads. Can I help you with the hey, tall salads? We need give to them look. Some listen, food. they we, need food. They that hungry. is food. We're you want a healthy. stripper to be full? No. What after happens if she done, lands the no, wrong way and a turd no, pop out? I'm talking about. You want after the doo doo and the boo boo? Like, she she get gassy. Afterwards, you come afterwards. She twerking. I gotta on you bring like. Bill in this one. You cannot <laughs> feed the strippers because <laughs> you'll get the pudding all <laughs> over the <laughs> place. I'm definitely tr- no. Nah. I afterwards. They <laughs> <be> hungry like, <laughs> after. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> did I, did you, okay, so okay, so we just gonna sit here and act like we didn't see that that stripper that that did that, that uh what turned over and shit it in that girl face. Oh, Bruh. oh yeah, oh yeah. That video was so crazy. And the way I ate that damn uh that damn uh, uh Trader Joe's watermelon today, and the way I felt. You Anything know. is possible. But uh, you I ain't never seen watermelon like make, make your stomach do a dance like that. You uh. know her stomach was hurting earlier, man. For sure. Now that's she, for sure. Girl, I don't know if I should work, girl. My stomach. Girl, like, you shit. know it's your turn. You got to make that money. <laughs> hey, listen. So, look, on a positive note, on the opposite end of the spectrum of the crazy and the wild, we actually have a lady mm. who has a very unique name. Now, some people uh, off Martin, they call it Shampipple. <laughs> But Champelle Anderson 
That is the blackest Champale. goddamn name in the in these Champale. Americas. Come here, Champagne. Champagne. No, the coldest. N- uh, no, no, that's not exactly too black. Okay, you don't but think Champale, so? Champagne. What okay. the fuck? Because usually, like, they'll take a car oh, well, and yeah. a favorite drink. Okay. I wasn't gonna do champagne. Okay. Where does everybody the L come from? Is that like champagne? I like champagne. I'm like, being different. Baby, we gonna come together. Yeah. I'm being just different. Well, they wanted Chantel. But then they decided on Champagne. Yeah. Everybody know. got Chantel. Yeah, I'm everybody different. Got Chantel. Champagne. That's I'm your name. Yes, I'm different. But I'm this diff- Missouri native right here, this Missouri native mm-hmm. is going around and she makes up to a hundred lunches every day for neighborhood kids. Mm-hmm. Do we actually have film on that, sir? I'm sorry, Champagne. You doing? We actually you have the footage God's on that. Work. We're gonna roll that. Anderson is a healthcare provider and mother of six and has been feeding kids in her North St. Louis neighborhood for five years. And I was noticing how the kids, they would always be hungry. Anderson says she had to right. do a policy on school days. For kids Sam Pale? She's making oh, um, they can sandwiches. Knock door before and after school, and she oh. hands them a snack for breakfast and lunch. They get off the bus and they just take off running because they never know what I have in the bag. I, I switch it up. Sometimes I give them special treats. For my special babies. I ain't not champagne. I ain't champagne. love to eat. Like peanut butter and jelly. She look like she say lunch and meat. You can come on back, sir. Some of that lunch and meat. I got some lunch and meat. Come on back, PJ. Now, I don't know if anybody noticed. Now, I'm, you know, a couple snacks away from being obese, right? Mm Mm-hmm. But that little kid that walked up there didn't eat no goddamn sandwich. He was cheesing hard as hell, though. celery. That boy was like... Don't talk about the baby. He needs celery. They hungry. Extra chips like That's I like That's what my it, mom right? used to say when I had when I had sleep apnea at one. <laughs> I ain't keep feeding that boy. My father used to come in the house and be like, what in the hell? Oh, you feeding this nigga at 11 o'clock? <laughs> Up there snoring and shit. <laughs> 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 you going to get that boy diabetes. Oh, for real. You know that shit running our family. He already got gout and shit. No, for, at, one. <laughs> at one. At <laughs> one. Boy, what was you eating? <laughs> what chopped sandwiches every day? Give my damn son gout. Oh, God damn it. Oh, my God. Got to get him taught cherry juice every night before he go to bed and shit. I'm talking about for real. Yeah. But, yeah, that's a dope. That's a day, man. That's really dope. And you know what's funny about that is that people are out here voluntarily doing these things yeah. when yeah. you have a government-funded school or state-funded hey, school. That will not they won't feed do the it. Babies. They just won't. They throw do away it. the food. It takes if you a don't village. have lunch money, they won't feed the children when they're supposed to be for the children. Hey, look, but we got the community though. We don't need the school. We well, got that's the true. Exactly. It takes but a the thing is, you know what I'm saying? And, we and, and, take and this a lot stuff. of children get free lunch. DC is free lunch, <laughs> breakfast and lunch. Period. Right. Mm-hmm. And during the summer, they have the free breakfast free lunch and lunch too. program. Maryland ain't giving you free shit. Right, and it's a free ride to school. That's it. That's And it's sad, but a lot of children don't eat. We don't realize a lot of children do not eat at home. Or they can't. Their parents can't provide all they need. So it, I'm I'm very grateful for her and the people that feed other children because you, it takes a lot of love. It's it's love when you do things like that. The children need love. It is really definitely from the, from the heart. But baby, you got to get rid of the cookies and shit. Okay. Every once in a while. That Every little joke will probably come back four or five times a day. <laughs> hey, look, her name is Champagne. Yeah, you can she tell she probably she custom wants. little kids' ass out too. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, y'all make a line. Y'all make a line. Yeah. Yeah. With your mom, I told her to stop sending you over. You little She's nigga. not in the bag. It's not <laughs> for her. Nigglets. It's not for her. If she want one for the baby, bring the baby. <laughs> well, everybody out there, it has been a real show, man. We miss you, Breezy, man. We'll see you next week. Um, where can they find you? Take them all your uh, your info and your math. Man. Uh, check me out, man. Blunts Bill Buns at on Instagram, uh, on YouTube. We got Weedhead TV. You can check me out uh, every Thursday from nine to ten. That's pretty much it, man. I don't, I don't know. I don't do too much. Just a little something. Oh, you man, know what I'm saying? Oh, man. And Weezy. Uh, you can find me here on Mondays at seven. Maybe before that, I don't know. Depending on what I feel like doing. Uh, on Facebook at Louisa Harrell and Instagram and Twitter at Lovely Beautiful Mind Thirty. And on Saturdays, you can catch me in Columbia getting trained. <laughs> and you can you find did. me at. God damn, I've been coughing all day. Sorry, everybody. You can find me at Red Nose 1999 on it's IG. Red Nose199 on Twitter. And <laughs> AI McDowell Ferguson on Facebook. And the Red Nose stands for the pit bull, not the clown. And you can catch me out here in the next week selling dildo shaped cakes to hungry strippers. You and heard the, me. And a wall of men and, and I'm a sidekick. We out of here. <laughs>